Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story. Yes, yes, we there's no hiatus. I, I know sometimes that happens. It's like oh, it's back and then it disappears. No, we're 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 fully in it now. We make some uh, real milestone improvements in this episode. Not not a lot of incremental, uh, but milestone. Like you know, uh, I don't know how to put it, but you know, a lot of things kind of build up to a hilt. I'm just kind of showcasing here. There's some new uh, features in. The latest update and there was another update i think it was probably a patch fix but um you have death markers now uh, which is very useful i've i've changed it so that i keep my items on death so not as useful for me and i'm probably gonna have to delete a lot of uh <laughs> pins over time but uh that's fine I, I still think it's a it's an improvement overall i'm finally harvesting some of our beehives it's been a long time coming but um we got some beeswax. We got some uh, bees, uh, I guess, honeycombs. Uh, this is, a, I think, a fairly lengthy process in real life. So I kind of hope that they do a bit more. Uh, they, they they add a bit of depth to this part of the game. But um, as it is now, it's, it's pretty good. Um, you basically just like right click over a bucket and that gives you some honey and it gives you some beeswax. Uh, I, I swear, I feel like in, in real life, it's a little bit more extensive, but Either way, we have over two liters of honey, which is nice. We'll definitely use that for something. And we've got some, uh, more importantly, we've got some beeswax, which I was finally able to make some candles. And I right away uh, went ahead and made our silver lantern, which has been pending for like months now. Uh, months? Like how many months? Several months. Um, but it's a silver lined silver lantern, which has, I believe, the maximum radius of light and you can see it definitely is like a marketed improvement over my last lantern uh unless i get like really interesting materials to make a new like colored lamp with i don't think i'll be uh upgrading for quite a long time this is pretty much the best uh the best lamp uh, you can have uh, at least it's the best radius so there really isn't much reason to improve other than aesthetics but uh, I definitely uh, got m more into uh, animal husbandry today. We'll get kind of into that. I haven't really done anything like stupendous, but uh, I, I have, uh, I'm working on getting some sheep. So um, that's gonna be a lot of this, sorry, not sheep, chickens. What is wrong with my brain? So we're getting some chickens today. They're kind of the same animal, except not at all. Um, and I'm also gonna be doing a lot of smithing because I need some various materials or tools uh, and uh, small things, you know, uh, things I've been needing for quite a long time. Um, I decided to make some more lanterns, first of all, so that I could give one to the animals. Apparently they disappear in the darkness. So I'm kind of fortunate in that uh, my animals didn't disappear the last couple of nights. Um, I guess I have been sleeping, so I they, they haven't been disappearing, but I'm kind of worried about the temporal storm. I'm not sure how that's going to... Uh, uh, um, kind of affect the animals, but I wanted to make sure they have light so that they don't despawn at the very least um, Definitely doing some more farming want to do like tend to the farm basically as much as I can and uh, Get as much food as I possibly can throughout the year uh, So that I have enough for both myself and whatever animals I end up with at the end of the year It's still technically springtime. So I'm you know, I'm planning very far in the, uh, ahead, but since I went to so much trouble to make this farm, I want to make the full advantage of it. Um, so here's our first smithing. We're, we're going to need to make another hammer outside of uh, making some plates for lantern. By the way, this is this is a great moment. I, I accidentally threw my ingot, my second ingot, instead of my hammer head into the water. And I didn't understand why I was not making the... Uh, a hammer and then I realized that I actually cooled down my tin bronze ingot so unfortunately that meant that I had a spare ingot that I would either have to reheat or uh, just like put aside I usually I, you know you always want to heat up two ingots and then just make whatever your you know whatever tool is kind of running low so uh, that hence why I always heat up two ingots but now I have the spare and it was it's just gonna bother me till the end of time so uh, I'm not I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that but anyway I put the hammer away new hammer and uh, I, I found out here actually that the uh, tongs, they do actually lean up against the wall. So that's quite nice. I, I like the tongs a lot more now that I know that. Um, I do still wish they kind of hung on a tool rack, but that's fine. Against the wall is actually probably, it probably make, makes more sense. 
I'm still uh, relearning uh, leather making, but uh, so I, I have to make some more tannin and uh, go ahead and dump some leather um, into the first weak tannin after scraping it. And uh, yeah, this this whole process is, is very straightforward after you've done it a couple times. I haven't uh, reaped that resin from the local tree for quite a while, so I wanted to do that and get some more oak wood for uh, leather working. I found some mushrooms, so that was decent. And uh, I also found a wolf, and here's our first wolf death of, uh, you know, after the hiatus, which is uh, fun, question mark, in, in parentheses. But I managed to bite back a little bit and get, I love it when you can get that one last strike after you've died and uh, kill whatever it is that killed you. So I managed to get some fat actually from this corpse, which was really nice. And for whatever reason, I found this chicken in the wilderness and I decided it was gonna be my first chicken. I don't know why it was that specific chicken that I wanted, um, but I was just like, you know what? I'm tired of not having chickens. So this is this is the breaking point. There's a chicken right here. Let's get some chickens. So I got, I got a chicken and there I chased it into that little pen and put a door on there. And then I checked my trap. I made this like several episodes ago. Um, and there's just a myriad of creatures in there. And so I decided to uh, go ahead and yeah, I, I already knew that I used this other ingot. I went ahead and heated up one ingot just so I could make a cleaver um, specifically so I could go and kill a bunch of those creatures in the pit uh, and potentially tame a couple of them. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I'm not gonna sit around for 20 episodes on one odd ingot. That just was not gonna cut it for me. Um, what is gonna cut it for me is all of the cool feathers and uh, chicken meat I get from all of these chickens. That was pretty good. Unfortunately, I kill the only male chicken in the pen here, which I really uh, was just a world-class stupid thing to do. Um, so, you know, there, there it is. But uh, it turns out um, things turn around actually after this because I find another male chicken basically in the local area. I'm gonna keep that trap up, by the way. Um, I'm not, you know, I, I leave, uh, I leave a trough, a trog in, uh, in the pit to make sure that uh, it, it continues to lure animals in because it's a nice source of extra fat, possibly. And we're gonna need a lot of it, so uh, I'll take whatever I can get. I kind of configured this trap. I think I, I'm kind of proud of this. It's not entirely my idea. I saw another YouTuber do this. But basically you want to have an intermediary pen so that you can um, walk into the pen without accidentally leaving uh, you know, the gate open and, and leaving any animals out. So I have one pen for basic, basically trapping chickens. And then once it's in there, I can uh, kind of push it into the other pen without potentially like losing anything else. It's a bit of a, you know, extra step of paranoia here, but it ensures that you never, and of course I went ahead and open the gate anyway so I could push it in there, but it's, I think, a pretty good way of doing things. And I think uh, I will want to have that for the sheep as well, have another kind of intermediary um, pen just so that uh, there's a, there's a, you know, I can tr easily transfer uh, animals from one pen to another. And eventually we'll want to do pigs as well, although I'm not sure where, you know, I'm going to find pigs. I have looked up how to uh, get some of these animals and how to lure them in, and this is actually easier than I thought. Um, weirdly, the hard ones are the ones that are not aggressive. Uh, so I'm actually, I've already done the hard part in a way. I've, uh, with the sheep, um, the, the, you know, the ones that were kind of chill, um, pushing them into a pen is harder than with an aggressive animal because with the aggressive animals, you can just kind of punch them and then they'll run chase after you and then you, you lure them into a pen that way and it's it's actually a lot easier. I do wish there was kind of some tool in the game that made that whole process a little bit more, I don't know, uh, immersive, you know, a leash, something, uh, you lure them with food, anything, I don't know, but uh, it is what it is. So I decided that I wanted to make some more stuff. We're making arrows, I think, here. Uh, arrows are kind of a huge pain in the butt to make. They're a very, fairly complicated template. There's, I don't think there's any reason to make six because it costs the same ingot. So uh, the only thing that it does cost you is a little bit of courage because making um, the nine arrow template is a little bit tricky. Oops, and I, I keep forgetting that I need tongs. That's something I'm gonna have to you know, learn and set in my brain noggin 
but yeah, the uh, the three by three arrows um, is is a little bit tricky. So you, I, I definitely think you would want to have a little bit of experience with the metalworking before jumping into that. But I honestly just like try and learn that first because there's no reason to do the six one unless there is a reason someone could tell me. Oh, also by the way, flint knives have been nerfed. What the heck, bud? The game's not hard enough. We gotta ha we gotta nerf flint knives. The, you only get one knife. You only get one knife now though you can see there's a heavy temporal storm on the way so that's something to look forward to in the next episode i suppose so uh, not really anything too exciting but uh you know hey you know we've got we got beeswax we got lanterns we got chickens that's a lot of big uh big things um you may have missed it but our flax is almost fully grown so i'm thinking in the next episode there's a good chance that i will be reaping my first uh yield of flax and that means i'll be able to make some more canvas and that means i'll be able to make uh improve the 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 windmill um and that's like that's still on in the books like i'm, I'm still going to be working on that at some point i would really like to work on it pretty soon honestly um but i don't think i have nearly enough fat so you know one thing at a time but uh, I'm pretty proud of uh, my progress in the last couple episodes. Animal husbandry was honestly a very intimidating thing to, for me. The idea of feeding something else, just, uh, it feels wrong, you know? It feels like throwing away resources. But I'm not throwing resources away, I'm converting them in a way. So, there's our last uh, beehive, and I am going to be trying to do the bees uh, in, a, in a good way, you know, like, reuse, replant what you, to, what you take. And, uh, and that'll do it. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.